Hi, I'm Bruce Onitz, and I am the arborist with uh, Good Nature. I uh, take care of the uh, tree and shrub program for Good Nature. Uh, today, we are, I am going to uh, do some work on some trees at this property that were planted uh, improperly. Uh, some of them were planted too deeply, which uh, causes root problems. And so we, I am going to excavate around the uh, roots of these plants, look for and eliminate any problem roots, lower the soil level around the trees so that they have a, a better chance of, uh, of surviving. Here's how a tree should look normally with the uh, root flare well above the ground. This is a sign of a tree that has been planted too deep where you cannot see the root flare. The tree appears like it's going in more or less like a telephone pole. Here the excess soil on top of the root system is being removed so that we can have bare soil for when we start to do the, uh, the root collar excavation. I'm using the uh, air knife here uh, which uses high powered air to remove the uh, soil around the base of the tree to expose the uh, roots. Uh, this will not harm the uh, root system. Um, it will expose any defects that are in the root system. Uh, also you can see that the uh, soil is being removed so that the root flare is exposed as we saw earlier. Just um, remove the soil uh, around the base of this uh, pear tree. Um, it was wasn't planted too deeply. Um, however, it still has a, a problem root here that I'm going to remove because it will cause problems later on in the uh, life of this tree. Um, you can see most of the roots are growing out into the soil. However, I got two roots right here. These are called girdling roots or potential girdling roots. They're wrapping around the trunk. As this tree grows, this root is going to expand in size as the trunk expands in size at the same time. Eventually, that's going to press up against the uh, trunk of the tree. Right underneath the bark of this tree is all the vascular uh, tissue. Uh, that is, uh, is a, you can think of it like the circulatory system of the tree. Uh, all the water and nutrients brought up from the soil uh, that go upward into the, uh, into the tree's canopy, are moved through the vascular tissue. Um, all the uh, sugars and food that are produced in the leaves are flowing down. If, these, uh, if this continues to expand and presses uh, the vascular system, it would be like uh, putting a tourniquet on your arm. It's going to cut off the circulation. So if this root had stayed here, this tree would have uh, uh, likely died a premature death um, so I am going to cut this root out to solve those, uh, solve those issues. Okay, now the second girdling root is out. And now this tree can grow normally. Okay, right here you can see an indentation where that root was uh, going across the trunk. And you can already see what we're starting uh, to compress the bark and therefore the vascular tissue that was right underneath. So uh, that relieved the pressure that was uh, being put on that point and constricting the uh, flow of water and uh, nutrients and food. done removing the soil and mulch around uh, from the base of this uh, maple tree. The mulch had previously been up to this height. Um, this area here, the, uh, uh, the root collar or the root flare should all be above ground. So this area has this mass of, uh, of uh, circling roots in an area where uh, the roots shouldn't be growing up around the, uh, the trunk of the tree. So I'm going to remove these smaller roots and a couple of larger girdling roots that could cause problems later on. And we're going to 
lower the mulch level so this whole root flare is exposed and above ground. Um, you, this is an area of the tree that's really important. You don't want to have uh, this area um, starting to rot. Um, by having the soil and mulch piled up this high and this area which is meant to be above ground, um, all that moisture that's up against there can cause rot issues. Uh, getting fungal rot into the tree will definitely cause the uh, tree to uh, decline much quicker than it, than it should. Okay, I just removed uh, the mass of roots that were growing up around uh, this maple tree and that would have caused uh, uh, problems later on with the uh, girdling roots. And I did come across a larger girdling, potential girdling root that was coming across the tree here. And um, as that root uh, would have expanded, it would have uh, uh, cut off uh, circulation in the trunk. Um, so now that this is removed, we've, the homeowner can maintain the mulch level at this level, keeping this root uh, collar exposed, and uh, this tree will have a uh, much longer life.